This morning, a series of shark attacks over the 4th of July holiday have left wildlife officials on alert across the country. First instinct was to just yank my foot up and I didn't look or anything, I just took off. At Florida's New Smyrna Beach, Connor Baker says he was playing football in knee deep water on the 4th of July when a shark bit his foot. All of a sudden I felt like my foot was just being like stabbed on both sides, bottom and top. Baker rushed to the hospital, the bite tearing four of his ligaments. Like you always hear people get bit by a shark and you're like, never, that'll never be me. It's pretty crazy and then it happened. The next day at the same beach, officials say a shark bit a second man floating in an inner tube and he also suffered non-life threatening injuries. <laughs> and on South Padre Island in South Texas, officials say a single shark injured four different people 4th of July morning, capturing this footage of a shark thrashing around in the area. Rescuers dragging Tabitha Sullivan out of the water who told NBC she couldn't believe what happened. I just thought it was a big fish, so I went to kick to kind of kick it away, and at that point, I think it's when it bit me, and had I not pulled my legs up, probably would have got my torso or something else. Sullivan's daughter says her mom is in stable condition, and her father was injured, too, while fighting off the shark. That shark stayed right there and just circled. Shark bites in some locations have been on the rise. Last year, there were 36 confirmed shark attack bites in the U.S. And so far this year, there have already been at least 15. But experts stress these kinds of dangerous attacks are still extremely uncommon. In general, shark bites are very rare. But to have multiple shark bites within close proximity and time to one another is pretty much unheard of. And this is not just happening in the south. Up here in the northeast, there's been several shark sightings, including some beaches on Cape Cod that have shut down because of multiple great white shark sightings. Trevor Alt, ABC News, New York.